the glitz, the glamour, the hair. NBA Draft is one of my favorite sports nights of the year. My Golden Globes, basically. So why don't more people care as much as me? Hey, I'm Mike Janela for 8012, and we haven't said this too much lately, but the NFL has actually got something right. Their summers are followed more closely than a lot of other leagues' actual seasons. The draft's on two networks across three days, in prime time for two of them. ESPN has full shows breaking down mini camps and OTAs. And if I have to hear one more useless story about Johnny Manziel's offseason. So NBA, catch up! You've got so much more working for you than any other league. Let's start with the draft. You've got the most recognizable players of any sports draft. You've got a funny, social media savvy commissioner people actually like. It's only two rounds long, and these guys are some of the coolest dressed dudes you'll ever see. I'm inspired. So why is the draft only pulling in three and a half million viewers compared to the NFL's first round numbers of seven large? Exploit your talent! Where's the HBO deal for a 24-7 with Jaleel and Carl Towns? Why isn't Kristaps Porzingas taking over the NBA Instagram account this week? His emoji game should be shared with the world. But the draft is just the beginning. Think of all the characters we could fall in love with if ESPN aired the Drew League, showing players letting loose in a pickup game. Can't we have charter jet trackers on player agents for free agency on July 1st? What if TNT did a version of Hard Knocks following the Lakers in the offseason? Did Kobe invite Swaggy P to his 4th of July barbecue? Things I need to know! The NBA's biggest draw is its insane amount of personalities. Of our four major sports, the NBA is the only league to put anyone in the world top 20 for Facebook likes or Twitter followers. But unless it's for Team USA, we almost never hear anything all summer about Kevin Durant or Steph Curry until training camps start. That's gotta change. Anything to not have to read another story in June about the top number three fantasy wide receivers. Save us, Kristaps. We'll see you next time on 8012. Thanks for watching 8012. If you like what you see, subscribe to our channel, like our videos, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Just don't say first. No one likes that.